Today to share with you all this eye makeup look that I achieved that only cost me five dollars by using LA Colors Insta Glam 20 piece makeup kit that looks like this right here. This makeup kit is what was used to help to create the eye look that you're seeing, and it only cost me five bucks. You're getting everything that you need. You're getting a 12 pan eyeshadow palette, your own eyeliner, mascara, blush, and a highlighter. You're getting a lipstick nail polish, um, a little blush brush, as well as a eye sharpener to help keep your eyeliner sharpened. 20 pieces for only five bucks created the makeup look that you're seeing. So if you wanna see more on how I actually put this kit to use, Keep watching the video, and I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later, dolls. Starting out by priming the entire mobile area of my eye by using my fingertips to blend up towards the brow bone. And then I'm taking the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in a color called Medium Deep to set the primer and to use as a transitional color. I love using my MAC Cosmetics Saddle Brown. This is what warms my eye up and helps to separate the brow bone from my crease. So here's the fun part, the palette. Look at this when I apply the color. Ugh. Color you see, color you're definitely going to get. These eyeshadows are not chalky when applied and they are insanely pigmented. And with a blending brush, I'm taking the matte burgundy color, working that in the crease. Now I'm going to show you a way in which a cut crease is done. This is just a way that's comfortable for me. I start out by taking the concealer with my concealer brush and I dig deep into my crease to get the outline of my mobile eye. Once I achieve the line, I then use my fingertips to gently pat in um, only on the mobile area of the eye. I go back into the palette and now I'm picking up the burgundy shimmered part and I'm placing it only underneath where I cut the crease, but I'm leaving a tiny bit of space where the concealer was because I'm using some um, gold glitter that a glam doll gifted me hey doll to cut the crease and then i go in with my lancome foundation which i've been trying out lately and it gives me a great deal of coverage i'm not a hundred percent happy with it but i'm not gonna let my money go to waste so i'm just gonna blend that out by using a facial blending brush which is from shop miss a it's an aoa blending brush that i purchased for only one dollar and I'm going to blend out the entire perimeters of my face. Now once I finish my blending, I'm using my LA Girl Pro Contour Cream. And this has really surprised me. I kid y'all not. The application of this cream contour has been a major game changer and lifesaver for me. I'm highlighting underneath the areas of my eyes. And then I'm going in with the darker cream. And I'm going to go ahead and outline the perimeter of my forehead and along my uh, cheekbone area. And with a Real Techniques Beauty Blender, I'm now going to blend it all out. And once I get that going and fully blend it, I'm then going to go ahead and take some facial setting powder and gently just contour halfway from my earlobe underneath my cheek area. I went back into the kit, picked up the mascara and it actually smells pretty good. You know, I was surprised by that. So I'm putting a little bit of mascara on just to get my natural lashes blended in with the faux lashes. And it comes with its own highlighter and blush, but I'm not going to use it because I'm a huge fan of liquid highlighters lately. Ugh, this has been a new obsession of mine. So I'm using some liquid highlighter and I like mixing the two. And once I get them going, I'm then going back in with my Real Techniques uh, Beauty Blender and gently just blend that out. And what I love about the liquid highlighters is it gives me a soft, uh, dewy looking highlight. It's not too harsh. So now I'm using my Milani Cosmetics Rosary Oh Blush. A little bit goes a long way. I'm not much of a blush wearer. And this is the lipstick that came with the kit, but I'm not really feeling its color. At least not with the eyes that I did. I like the formula. So I went back and just used my favorite nude lipstick topped with some lip gloss. And this just um, concludes the video. Voila. Finished look dolls. 
Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Don't forget to check down in the description box below for information about the hair and everything else that was used. And I will see you all in another video again shortly. Later dolls.